Hi everybody, my name is Cyrus Jansen. I wanna welcome you back to our putting series that's sponsored by Perfect Turf Vancouver. This is lesson five out of an eight part video series. And today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about the art of reading a green. Now one of the important elements in learning to become an elite putter is actually learning how to read the green. And in today's lesson, we're gonna teach you some key principles that are gonna help you become a better green reader. Now I do wanna say that it is important that you do gain experience and the only way that you're gonna get better at reading greens is to do it more and more often. So the more often you play, the more greens you play, the different amount of courses you play, all of these things are gonna factor in and make you a better putter. But if you really struggle with reading greens, these, this video today is gonna help give you the basics that you can learn to really help you the next time you go play golf. All right, everybody, now we're at my backyard, and again, this is the uh, putting green that I have installed by Perfect Turf Vancouver. It's about 30 feet long, about 15 feet wide, so it's a really good practice area to, you know, to get my putting dialed in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the art of reading a green. Now, what I'm standing on is really the high point of the green right here, and you can see as I'm walking towards the camera here, there's a bit of a slope right in here so kind of one of the key things that when you're starting to read a green is you actually begin that process when you start walking on that green so let's imagine that my golf ball is over here and you know I'm gonna be walking towards that ball you know I'm walking uphill so you're already starting to sense that you know I know that this is an uphill putt and you know as I'm getting closer to here one of the things that I really like to focus on is I like to focus on where the balance is in my feet you know so for instance if I'm standing here you know, I'm gonna feel you know, my left side's a little bit higher, my right side's a little bit lower because we know that that's a slope. So one of the key things that you'll see on the PGA Tour is a lot of times players are really using their feet to try to feel where the slope is at, okay? One of the most common methods that's very popular on the PGA Tour right now is a aiming strategy called aim point. And what players do is they actually stand on the line of that ball. Sometimes you'll see players like Adam Scott, they'll actually stand right over their golf ball and they'll hold their hand up here and they're basically trying to feel the slope. But one of the key things that you're gonna start with is you're gonna ask yourself, is my left foot higher or my right foot higher? Does it feel even or is there a little bit of slope? You know, so right now, I know that my right foot's a little bit higher than my left, so if I'm putting this direction, I know it's gonna be breaking right to left. You know, if I'm standing the opposite way, you know, I know my left side's higher. And so a big thing, one of the key factors is really using your feet to be able to read the green. All right, so now we're gonna demonstrate and we're gonna hit a few putts for you to be able to see the break and how I'm gonna actually read this putt. And what you can see is as I'm walking here that I can feel again this, you know, my right foot is a little bit higher than my left. So I know that there's a big slope right in here. One of the things that I also like to do if I have a really long putt, let's imagine this is 50 or 60 feet, is I actually like to come in the middle and what I'll do is I'll actually look at my golf ball and I'll kind of imagine that golf ball traveling right here and then breaking down to the hole. So sometimes, you know, if, again, if this is a 50 or 60 foot long putt, a lot of times players, they really just look at the, at the putt from one angle. They'll just look at it from here. A really good perspective for you to be able to feel how much distance that is, is to really come in the middle. Come in the middle, you know, look at it from left all the way to right. When you see it in the middle, you can really see how long this putt is. It's gonna be able to help build that feel for you and be able to hit better putts. So again, I can see this very clearly. I know that this is a you know, much higher slope right here and you know, I'm on the low point right here. So this is very obvious. It's definitely gonna be breaking right to left. Now, the key thing in reading a green, and this is the number one thing, if you're gonna remember one thing from this lesson, it's this, is that you wanna keep your ball on the high side of the hole. Now let's explain what the high side is. So let's just imagine from this first golf ball, you know, there is a, there's a straight line that's gonna go directly to the hole, okay? So there's a straight line right there. And because we know that the right side is higher, the right side is therefore the high side. And anything left of that imaginary line is the low side, okay? Now, you will miss 100% of the putts that are on the low side. That's pretty common. Everyone you know, can understand that. That's pretty common sense. And I'm just gonna hit a first putt. And this is, for instance, if I'm just aiming right at the hole, all right, you're gonna see that that very quickly crosses below that imaginary line. That's on the low side of the putt. Again, if you're on the low side, there's no chance that you're gonna be able to make that. And that is a key thing that, that professionals are very good at, is they're able to keep that ball on the high side. So again, as we know that this, you know, the right side is higher, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try that again, and I'm gonna adjust my aim, and now I'm gonna be aiming quite a bit. You know, I'm gonna aim a good two feet to the right because this is a very big slope, and we're gonna go ahead and hit that putt up. 
and you can see how that's tracking. See how that stayed on the high side the most of the way. Now that almost went in. It's a little bit short. I could have had a little bit more power, but you can see the difference here is that if you're keeping the ball on the high side, that when a ball finishes, it's going to finish a lot closer to the hole. That was a very good putt. And from a putt of this distance, again, this is about probably 25, 30 feet, and I've got a very big slope in here. You know, I'm not trying to make this putt. You know, if it goes in, great, but I'm certainly trying to secure my two putt. You know, that, that first ball, you know, I've got a little bit of work left. I've got a testy little three-footer. You don't really want that for my second putt. Obviously, the, the second shot that I hit, you know, I'm just a couple inches from the hole. Very easy to two-putt. So this is a key important concept is when you guys go out and you're playing, make sure that you're keeping your ball on the high side. All right, guys, so here's the final step in learning how to read a green is I want to talk about the importance of actually putting the line down and using it to aim. Now, Brandel Chambly from the Golf Channel, he feels that this is such an advantage, he actually links it to cheating. That's how much of an advantage it is. Of course, it is totally within the rules of golf to line your putter up. And what I do is I, you can either draw a line on this or just simply use the line that naturally comes on the golf ball. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this putt and I'm going to read this, all right? This is a short putt. Let's just call it about seven feet. And when I'm standing here with my feet like this, I can feel relatively balanced between my left and my right. So I know that this is a really straight putt. However, I do feel that when I'm coming here, you know, this side of the hole is a little bit higher than down here. So I know that that is now uphill. So it's an uphill putt. That's one that we can be aggressive on. And again, it's pretty straight. So I'm just going to aim right for the hole. But this is really important part in green reading is, is you don't want to be green reading while you're hitting the putt. All right? You do all your green reading before the putt. So I'm analyzing here. And once I set that marker down and once I set that line down on my ball, that's it. My green reading's done. Now it's time to commit to that. I've put the line down. So now all I need to do is basically commit to that line. So again, I'm getting my putter square to that line. And now it's just simply executing. So use these tips, make sure that you're using your feet while on the green and make sure that you keep your ball on the high side. After that, put your line down, commit to that line, and you're going to start making a lot more putts. Thanks for watching this video and look forward to seeing you in lesson six, where we're going to talk about the five most common putting mistakes out there. Thank you.